Welcome to Alpha Bites, where we serve up bite-sized insights to help you grow your business and your bank account. Our host, Alex Zinni, CEO of Alpha Key Digital, dives into the latest marketing trends, proven strategies, and actionable tips to scale your online presence. Whether you're a seasoned entrepreneur or just starting out, Alpha Bites delivers the keys to unlocking your success. Now, let's get started with the show. Hi, everybody. I'm Alex Zinni, your host of Alpha Bites, where I sit down with business leaders and entrepreneurs to learn more about what makes them tick and to learn from their success. But real quick, this episode is brought to you by Alpha Key Digital. Located in the vibrant heart of Cleveland, Ohio, Alpha Key Digital delivers revenue-generating digital marketing solutions tailored to plastic surgeons, roofing companies, and any small or large business that's looking to grow. From cutting-edge SEO and social media strategies to high-performing websites and pay-per-click campaigns, our expert team is committed to driving measurable results that elevate your brand. Whether you're a local business striving to dominate your market or a national brand seeking a competitive edge, our comprehensive suite of services ensures success in today's crowded digital landscape. To unlock your business's full potential, we're offering a discovery session for all of our listeners. Just visit our website at alphakeydigital.com forward slash contact dash us to book an introductory call with Madison Hewitt, a member of our team. But before introducing today's guest, I want to give a big thank you and a shout out to Scott Hartig, the CEO of Real Work Labs. We worked very closely with Real Work Labs with some of our clients and their website, realworklabs.com, showcases how they specialize in a software that's built for home service-based businesses, and it turns every job that they do into a beacon that broadcasts your work to neighbors nearby. They have amazing widgets and amazing software that can really help your company get more reviews and increase your visibility online, so I highly recommend that you check them out. Again, that's realworklabs.com. So today I have Chad Frazen here from Rise25, who has done thousands of interviews with successful entrepreneurs and CEOs. And today we flip the script and he's going to be interviewing me. Chad, welcome to the show. Hey, Alex. Thanks so much. It's great to be here. Um, I'm looking forward to talking to you today. How are you? I'm doing great. It's, It's early in the morning here in Cleveland, Ohio. I got a coffee and I know when the listeners are listening, if they have a coffee as well, then then cheers. Nice. Yeah. Great, great way to get started. Hey, uh, this is one of your first podcast episodes. So I thought this would be a good time to kind of get to know you a little bit better in your approach with uh, Alpha Key Digital. Tell me what, um, you know, the, you founded it about eight, maybe more than eight years ago. What inspired you to start it in 2016? Yeah. Well, um, as, as some of our listeners might know, um, Jason Swank, who is a, um, an influencer and agency um, owner himself who started a mastermind that I'm in, he'll say that uh, there's accidental agency owners. And uh, that's exactly how it kind of worked out for me. I graduated from college here in Cleveland at Case Western Reserve University and uh, really didn't know what um, to do with my my degree. I had an English literature degree and I was always very creative and I, I liked creativity. And I started building websites on the side, you know, for for local businesses and and from there, I learned search engine optimization and social media and, and paid advertising and combining all that with design started, you know, having some some really steady clientele um, who I would work with and I was helping grow their business. So um, I was also simultaneously enrolled in law school and and I saw where that path was leading. And um, I decided that I did not want to become a lawyer and I wanted to spend, you know, my time doing marketing. And that's when I started Alpha Key Digital. Um, thought about the name. It just I, I had a mentor at the time who who said that the the playbook in the past was to have an A in your name because it would show up on the in the um, the yellow pages first. So I just picked the name Alpha for num- number one and and key to unlock your marketing success and and digital is what it is. So yeah, I think that was the inspiration. I'm an accidental agency owner, but um, it's uh, it's not something I'd want to trade for anything. You, you uh, talked about your background in English language and literature. I want to get back to that in a second. But um, I've talked to a number of agency owners and everybody has kind of like a preferred list of clients or um, a, a set of clients that your services are tailored to. Yours is interesting, plastic surgeons and roofers. How did, how did you kind of evolve into that? Well, it's yeah, it's it's just through time and uh, and and getting to know those industries in specific in general. 
Um, it's it's really home service based businesses, you know, not just roofers, you know, electricians, plumbers, HVAC, roofing, you know, in, in that very competitive field there, there's a lot of, uh, of people out there um, placing advertisements, having strategies. So to cut through that noise, and I really like numbers, so provable ROI, cost per acquisitions, it's, it's at the forefront of a lot of those businesses, those, their mind. Um, and the same is also true with plastic surgery. So I'll give another quick shout out, Dr. Paul Vanek here in uh, Mentor, Ohio. He's been a client of ours from, from day one. And um, he is a, an extremely talented individual who's a, a modern Renaissance man. And working with his plastic surgery practice, which is called Mentor Plastic Surgery, um, I've really gotten to see how much joy that, that he brings to the people that come to his med spa and, and do procedures with him. So to see the lives changed and to see how um, how amazing that service brings brings joy to people really inspired me to to work in the plastic surgery marketing field. It's also extremely competitive, um, and I like the competitive nature of that. And um, but I also like the creativity that comes behind the artistry that it takes to be a plastic surgeon. Very nice. So back to your your background. Um, how does how has your background in English language and literature kind of affected what you do um, with digital marketing? Yeah. Well, you know, I, uh, <clears throat> I, I was um, an English literature major at Case, like I, like I kind of mentioned, and, and I did that because I always really liked to read and I really liked writing. I never had any like intention of becoming a teacher or, or going on to get a master's like a lot of people do with those degrees. But um, that was really a great uh, degree for me because it taught me to think analytically and it taught me to see patterns. And a lot of design and a lot of um, even coding, like when you do HTML or CSS, there's a syntax to that. And, um, you know, the whether it's coding or whether it's sentences in, in a book with a Shakespeare or if it's modern literature or whatever, um, you know, there's inherent patterns that that I was trained to kind of see, which I think also extends to the work that I'll do in digital marketing, you know, whether it's coding or design um, or even just thinking about marketing in general. You know, it, uh, it's, it's always about people and like the greatest stories ever written are about people and um, to understand what makes what motivates people, what makes them tick, what speaks to them, um, what I which I've learned through, you know, the humanities and, and English really translates well over to marketing as well. And if we combine that with, you know, telling a, com a compelling story with a really clear message and, you know, um, kind of tugging at people's heartstrings, you know. You can you can get a good good result. So you know, I would say that my background in English language and literature is actually extremely fundamental to the marketing that I've done, and I don't think I could have ever have had a better kind of setup for the career that I ended up going down that path. Very nice. I had no idea that that it helped you see patterns when you study uh, literature. Mm -hmm. um, how do you kind of? I know you're you're interested also in music. You're a musician. How do you kind of balance that with running a successful digital marketing agency? And maybe what impact does that have on Alpha Key, Key Digital? Sure. Well, I mean, I'll joke too that also, you know, I, I became an accidental agency owner because it was fueling my early music career in my my early and mid twenties um, because I was spending a lot of time recording music and you know playing playing shows and. Uh, we were taking it, you know, relatively seriously. I was playing in a band called Bro Dylan. We put out some records, wrote around music, and and um, <clears throat> I started playing guitar when I was like ten. So you know, it's one of those things that's just it's it's what I love to do, and it's it's really um, a passion. But you know, I was doing digital marketing with them in my early twenties by you know really using Twitter to get to promoters. You know, we had David Bowie's manager kind of listen to our music simply because I reached out to him on Twitter. Um, you know, and we had a website and we had a good online presence and that helped us to get people come to our shows in Cleveland and, and do all that kind of stuff. So, um, there was actually a lot of marketing going on with that as well, you know, selling tickets, events and whatnot. Um, but you know, these days it's, it's kind of toned down with COVID. A lot of things changed with the, in the music space in general. So now I kind of just, it's my, um, escape more so than something that I'm, you know, really trying to take, take super, super seriously, like I did at one point, but, you know, to balance out the, to have that little creative, um, you know, part in my life is extremely important. So, you know, what I'll do now is I'll pick up the guitar and maybe play like some Rolling Stones, you know, I, 
after a, you know, angry client call or, or a happy client call or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, it really helps balance me out. And um, there's, I'll give another shout out to here in Cleveland, Apostle Jones, you know, I was playing with them for a couple of years and, and they're a really great fun band that uh, anyone in the Cleveland area has probably heard of or seen at one point or another. And, you know, to be able to, you know, go from being in a boardroom with a client and then, you know, throwing all that off and going to play at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame down here in Cleveland in the evening is um, is is something that is really fun. Yeah, that is awesome. Is it pretty exhilarating still? Oh, totally. Yeah, I never get tired of it, for sure. What do you enjoy most about um, running an agency? I like the flexibility. I like the creativity. Um, I like that uh, it's something that really benefits and helps people in a tangible way. Um, I can just give a quick example. Last night, we were wrapping up a search engine optimization sprint with a, with a client who came to us because they just couldn't be found online. And um, because they couldn't be found online, they were losing out on a lot of opportunities. And just in the two weeks that we've been, you know, helped optimize their website, get their Google profile set up, they're already seeing results. And they were very happy about it. So, you know, I really like that we can get results. It's measurable. It's not like a billboard, you know, like in the past, we'd say, you know, 100,000 people drove past this billboard this week. And that was the extent of the analytics. You know, we can say mm -hmm. that you've had these conversions, these amount of calls, these people visited this page and, and this is where they were located. And that kind of hard data really excites me. And it really, it brings joy for me to go to a client and, and say, you know, here are the tangible results of your marketing. So in terms of kind of what's what's trending these days, um, obviously, it's been trending for a while now. Everybody's talking about AI, whether they mm -hmm. should use it, how it should be used. Uh, what are your thoughts on all of that? Boy, yeah, I mean, AI, it's, it's, a, it's a major topic. And, you know, the reality is we don't know exactly how it's going to shape, shape the, the, our future. Um, I do think it's a tremendous impact. I think it's, it's equivalent to, or if not more, greater than the Wright brothers and discover, <clears throat> excuse me, discovery of flight. But uh, I will say that in the marketing realm, which is really the only space that, that I have any real knowledge about AI, um, is it's actually created a lot of bad marketing. Um, it's created a lot of, uh, you know, kind of hokey taglines and, and you know, um, bad blogs and bad content. And it's learning, though. So I do think that it's on the trajectory of becoming great content and great marketing and that. Unfortunately, you know, marketing teams might be reduced a little bit to somebody who's more adept to prompt engineering and, you know, coming out with really great AI content. So it could replace like a graphic designer at some point and then a, a copywriter and, and then really just the strategist is left behind. And I think for anyone listening, if, if they're worried about, you know, marketing, becoming a strategist and then combining that with like the prompt engineering I think that that person will be in a good spot. So those people that might be replaced, I think I heard a quote from Mark Cuban. He said, you're not going to be replaced by AI. You're going to be re replaced by somebody who knows how to use AI. Mm, that's a, yes, I haven't heard that quote, but that's exactly how I feel. It's, it's there, I haven't seen an AI that's super compelling in terms of able to execute strategy tailored to a situation. But I, but I do think that there will, that somebody who really knows AI will replace. Um, certain types of fields. So, you know, AI is constantly evolving. I'm sure digital marketing is constantly evolving. Mm -hmm. What's the most, what's kind of the biggest challenge associated with staying current with all that while still, do, still doing your job? Yeah, no, that's a great question. And you know, what I've noticed, and I've talked about this with my team and others over the last year or two is, you know, back in 2016, when I started this, you know, you could open a Facebook page and run an ad and get amazing results, 20x results. Um, you know, same with Google pay per click. But what we've seen is that because so many people have entered into the space, so many businesses, competition has become much more fierce online. As a result, because there's more demand, the price has gone up. Um, you know, we have clients who let's just say they were spending, you know, $1,000 a month on Google two or three years ago and getting great results. Well, now they need to spend four or 5,000 to get the same results. So I think that what I've seen is um, a trend is that it's getting more expensive and it's getting more crowded. Um, <clears throat> but the good news is, is that if you have a real, and I go back to what I was saying earlier about the, the literature, if you're telling a compelling story and you're really helping the people that, that you serve, you're going to cut through the noise. And uh, that's what we try to provide with our clients is compelling narrative and, and the, the vehicle to get in front of the right people. 
and that's still always going to be a recipe for success. But yeah, the bi- and the biggest change is that, you know, more people are doing it. You know, if you have a laptop, you're an agency owner now. There's a lot of agencies out there who, you know, uh, some of their work is a little suspect. <laughs> but um, but that'll weed itself out and change, you know. So for the business owner, though, being educated is extremely important. And um, there's plenty of resources online before engaging with an agency, just really, really knowing what you're looking for. I think really helps. So given that, where do you kind of see Alpha Key Digital headed within the digital marketing industry in the next maybe five years? Sure. Yeah, I I really think it comes back to telling stories and, and compelling brand narratives and, and combining that with media. So, you know, really compelling media and marketing tactics, you know, to tell a story and to, to capture, you know, the the um the leads and to turn that into provable ROI. That is the recipe that Alpha Key wants to follow. And we'd like to do it, you know, with with the types of clients that really lo- we really love to work with, plastic surgeons in particular, home service based businesses. But you know, we have experience working with a lot of different different types of industries. But I think taking that the creation of high quality media, consistent media, um, whether that's video or if it's um, you know photography or images or websites or, or user experience, taking that and combining it with really solid marketing and tactics and technical things, technical SEO and pay-per-click um, to get provable ROI to help businesses grow. Um, that's our bread and butter. And if five years from now, we just, we want to be doing that and uh, even even being better at it than we are now. Okay, very nice. Hey, uh, this is one of your first podcast episodes. What made you decide to start a podcast? Wow. So, I mean, I've wanted to start a podcast since like 2020, right? Mm-hmm. And um, it, I've been I've been telling myself I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then, you know, through Jason Swank's mastermind, you know, I met Jeremy, the the co-owner of Rise 25, and and um, I when I saw that he had this this dialed in so much, um, that's when I decided I, I wanted to do it. So, for anyone listening, you know, if you're interested in starting a podcast but you feel overwhelmed by the amount of equipment and the amount of things that you need to do. And all of this stuff, because for me, I was in analysis paralysis. You know, where, what's my scene going to be? What what microphone am I going to use? How, how What am I going to know how to talk about and all that? And um, so when I saw Jeremy's system here with Rise 25, I was like, okay, I'm starting a podcast now. And um, because I've always wanted to, because I love conversations. I love talking with people, interviewing people, learning about them. Um, and and I thought this would be a good way to do that. Nice. Very nice. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be great. Who do you think would benefit most from listening to it? I think the, that people who would benefit most from listening to this podcast are business owners themselves, um, marketers themselves, anybody interested in learning more about how digital marketing works and, and how it affects business. So I think that somebody who's just starting out on their agency journey would be a great listener. Somebody who's trying to DIY their own marketing for, let's say, their own roofing company or whatever, and they're interested in in learning more about how these things can help them or, or contacting an agency. Um, really, entrepreneurs, um, business owners, business leaders, and, and all of those different um, types of people, I think, would benefit from listening to the podcast. Okay. Well, I will definitely look forward to checking out future episodes, and I appreciate you having me on this one. It's great to talk to you today, Alex. Thanks so much. Thank you, Chad. So long, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Alpha Bytes. If you found today's insights valuable, be sure to subscribe, leave a review, and share the podcast with your network. Let's keep the conversation going. Connect with us on social media or visit us at alphakeydigital.com slash alphabytes. Remember, the keys to your digital success are just a bite away. See you next time.